Hi, I'm Bob Monker, and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Hello everybody, welcome to uh, Newcastle Fans TV. Very windy, hence the reason why I've changed location. Um, so we're just going to be talking about Rafa's uh, press conference, so he's, what he's been saying today, and also a little bit on how we, how we potentially could line up on the weekend against Huddersfield live on Sky. So uh, we'll run you through the press conference first of all, so this is what Rafa has said. So he was asked about the question about the Spurs results, and he said that you know the team have been set up, pra practising what they had been set up to do all week. However, the injuries, and in particular the red card, cost us, messed the whole plan up. Obviously, we know how the result ended. John Joe Shelley didn't put himself in much glory there, did he? You know, he was asked again about the Mike Ashley interview once more. I think he's probably getting a bit sick of it because I'm sick of hearing about it now. You know, it's exactly what he said to Mike Ashley. And obviously, if you haven't seen the interview for Sky on the open day here yesterday, he turned around and said that um, the targets and money that was agreed wasn't actually set out to be. So he's been let down there. He has mentioned, though, that he is in contact with Lee Charney every day. We know this. And he's focusing rather on the team. And I think that's the right mindset to have. Let's let's not get involved with the politics. Let's get involved. Let's focus on the football. Uh, he was asked about transfers again. You know the windows closing in the next 10, 11 days. He was asked about that, and he has reiterated that you know players now need to start leave for Newcastle to have more money coming in. So it sounds like the, I think there is a little bit of money left over, but I don't think there's much, mind you. So Rafa has said the likes of probably you're probably looking at Lazar, Krull, Hydara, maybe Hanley. Uh, who else is there? Henry Savier. There's loads of players you can name and reel off that you, Newcastle will probably accept a lower fee and what their value is worth just to get them off the wage book. Mention Huddersfield because they had an outstanding result against Palace 3 0. Munier getting a couple there. He was uh, he was really, really good in the league last year. He said that they've got a new team, a different team, and they've spent money. So it'll be a different kind of setup. Um, we'll come on to Huddersfield in a moment. Ask again about Hoslu. Uh, he said that he's got potential, he's played in all the big leagues, the likes of La Liga, Premier League, Bundesliga, and he just, I think the lad just needs a chance. I don't think he'll start, mind you, on the weekend. Asked if John Joe Shelby would come back into the side once his suspension is over. Rafa turned around and said that it depends on Shelby himself, depends on the form of the side. So if Newcastle were to go unbeaten, I would expect Shelby to be on the bench. Not because of already got red cards, you'd rather have John Joe Shelby in the side, of course, but if the team were on form, why change the side? So that's what he said. It was quite a brief press conference. It wasn't long today, mind you, along Benton. Um, however, you know, talking about Huddersfield now, when we come off there, I think Newcastle will line up 4 2 3 1. Let's put it on screen. This is how I think they're going to go. I think they'll go with Elliot. Mankiw will continue it right back. I know Yedlin's back in training, but I don't think he'll be fit. I think Lascelles and Mbemba will play the two centre backs. Clark, I think, will come in at left back. I know it's not great, but will he bring in one of the Lazar and Hydara from the cold? Probably not. Hayden and Moreno. I expect Moreno to come in alongside Hayden. Maybe Diarmi later on, perhaps, to push the team further forward. Richie on the right, Atta on the left, Atta's been outstanding. I do expect Iose Perez to continue on that number 10, but then again you might chuck in Diarmi. Uh, and seemed Young didn't get on the bench last game uh, against Spurs. Dwight Gale to continue up front. Now he could obviously mix that around, we know that. Um, you might not play Clark at left back, you might go, like I said, it's unlikely that you bring Hydara in from the cold, but you could play Hydara left back and play the same 4-2-3-1. But then again, he could mix it all up. He could play the wing-back system. He may play three centre-backs with Mankiw as a right wing-back and then possibly Atsu maybe as a left wing-back. It's unlikely that'll happen, so I do expect the formation not change, but the personnel to change, though. Uh, expect to play deep. You no, know, we beat Huddersfield 3-1 away last season. They had a massive amount of possession. Now, we only had something against Spurs. It was in the late 20s possession, something like 27% possession. I, th I think Newcastle will have a lot more, but I do th expect Huddersfield to have possession a bit more than Newcastle. So you're probably talking about 60-40 in Huddersfield's favour. It's all about what Newcastle can do on the counter. We'll be sitting deep and we'll be hitting them on the pace, on the wings. So you're going to have to give the ball to the likes of Atsu, Richie, Whoever's in the number 10 needs a good game. I think Perez needs a good game. And Dwight Gill needs service on the counter. And you're probably looking at Moreno to be your so-called so specialist long ball expert because he was spraying the passes around really lovely when he came against Spurs. But I, I'm expecting a win. I am. I think this is this this is the teams that you've got to be beating. If you can't beat Huddersfield in the Premier League, then you've got to be, you're struggling, aren't you? Because you've got to beat the teams around you. And Huddersfield will be somewhere around, whether below or uh, above us. The, these are the teams uh, that you've got to win. The likes of Spurs, who we played last week, is a bonus point if we got something out of that. Let's try and get the win. I'm going to go for 1-0. Um, let us know what you think and the thoughts down there below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.